concept is on uh, finding the area of a figure. Usually you will get three-sided or four-sided. Uh, seldom you will need to find the five-sided figure. Okay, but this is the concept that we need to know first. First, write down all your coordinates in this form. Okay, so after you write the first coordinate, you must go anti-clockwise manner. This way, alright, must go in the anti-clockwise manner, anti-clockwise manner, and then write back the first coordinate. See, this is the first coordinate, right? And then this is also the first coordinate. Okay, must go in the anti-clockwise manner. Alright, so the technique is half of, okay, so half of sum of downward product minus sum of upward product. Okay, what is this downward product or upward product? Means this times this, this times plus this times this, this times this, this times this, this is the downward product. The red one is the upper product. This times this, this times this, this times this, and this times this. Okay, so the concept is half of sum of downward product minus the sum of upward product. Okay? And you will get the area. The area is in the form of units square. Okay, so let me demonstrate to you in an example on how to find this with a, in a full fledged example actually. For this, okay, in the diagram, all the time, coordinate geometry questions are not drawn to scale, so you cannot use the drawing to get your answer. The points are given, okay, negative points, negative three are vertices of the triangle. BC intersect the x axis at 2, 0, okay, and the equation of, okay, so they will give you some piece of information for at first, okay, show that the coordinate of B, so B is here, alright, B is the intersection of two lines, okay, B is the intersection of AB and BC, alright, once you see intersection, okay, think of using simultaneous equation to solve it. Because if you have both the equation of AB and the equation of BC, you can be able to find B easily by using C by this equation. Then true enough, we already have the equation of AB which is here. Do we have the equation of BC? We do not. But what do we need to find equation? We need two points. Okay, and do we have two points? Yes, we have C and D over here because C and D is this line. BC is just C and D, you extend. Okay, so the equation would be the same. So how do we find equation? Number one, we will look for the radian of DC. Okay, and that would be equals to minus 3 minus 0 y2 minus y1 over minus 1 minus 2. And that would be equals to 1. Alright, so let's use a new way of finding equation. Okay, y minus 0 is equal to the gradient x minus 2. Okay, how do I get my this this one and this one is putting in my b inside. So y is equal to x minus 2. So this is the gradient equation of dc. Okay, so now I have the equation of dc. y equals to x minus 2. Okay, I can solve simultaneously. Alright, y equals to x minus 2 is equation number 1 and then x minus 2, y plus 4 equals to 0 is my equation number 2. I sub 1 into 2. Okay, I will have x minus 2 bracket x minus 2 plus 4 equals to 0. x minus 2 x plus 4 plus 4 equals to 0, x equals to 8. Alright, sub this into so y is equal to 8 minus 2, which is equal to 6. Therefore, b is equal to 8 comma 6. Alright, so if you have a point that is the intersection of two lines, always remember to use simultaneous equation to get it. How to get simultaneous equation? Try and see whether you can get both equations of the line. Next, I tell you that the perpendicular bisector. So perpendicular bisector is also the new thing that you learn today. Okay, inter the perpendicular bisector of BC intersect AB. Again, intersect. So we know that we're going to use simultaneous equation again later on. Okay, so let's find the perpendicular bisector of BC first. Remember, what is the step one of finding the perpendicular bisector of BC? Find the midpoint of BC. Okay, which is equal to, so B is, B is 8 comma 6, BC, that will be the average, 8 minus 1 over 2, comma, 6 minus 3 over 2, and that would be equals to 7 over 2, comma, 3 over 2. Okay, so that's the midpoint of BC. Then, 
let's find the gradient of BC. Now the gradient of BC, we already have gradient of BC and gradient of DC, they are the same because they are on the same line. Equals to 1, so which means the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is equal to negative of the reciprocal, which is negative 1. So now we will use the new way that we learned of finding the equation of line y minus 7 over 2 is equal to negative 1, that's the gradient, multiplied by x minus 3 over 2, or the other way around. y minus 3 over 2, okay, 7 over 2 over here. Okay, and then I will have y minus 3 over 2 is equal to negative x plus 7 over 2, then I will have y equals to minus x plus 5. Okay, so this is the perpendicular bisector of BC. Okay, and they say that it intersect at E. Okay, so let's find the equation of E. So this is equation number 1, or rather let's do it freshly. Y equals to negative x plus 5, equation 1. And then for AB is x minus 2y plus 4 equals to 0. Equation 2. Sub 1 into 2. x minus 2 bracket negative x plus 5 plus 4 equals to 0. So work it out. So I will have 4x um, equals to 6. Okay. x is equals to 3 over 2. Then y is equals to negative 3 over 2 plus 5, which is equals to 7 over 2. So therefore, E is equals to 3 over 2 comma 7 over 2. Okay, next. So they want to find the area. Okay, uh, this is where we're going to apply the concept of finding the area of a plane figure equals to. Now let, let me label everything in red first. They want B, C, and E. Okay. In fact, let's write it down here. So this is E, this is B, and then this is C. Let's write down all the coordinates. This is 8, 6. C is negative 1, negative 3. E is 3 over 2, comma 7 over 2. Okay. So, always write down your first coordinate. Now, choose the first coordinate as the easier one. Um, even though 86 is bigger, because 86 is both positive, I will choose 86. Okay? And then we must go in an anti-clockwise manner. So, after that, it will have to be 3 over 2, 7 over 2. After that, it will have to be negative 1, negative 3. After that, it will have to be 8 and 6. Okay? So, go in an anti-clockwise manner, then remember the first coordinate you have to write it twice. Alright, let me make it big over here. Yeah. Okay, and this will be equal to half sum of downward product. Okay, let me draw the downward product in red. This times this, this times this, this times this. You can in fact write it down. 8 times 7 over 2 plus 3 over 2 times negative 3. You can write it out this way, no problem. Plus... Um, negative 1 times 6 is okay. Okay? Minus the sum of upward cross. This times this, this times this, this times this. 6 times 3 over 2 plus 7 over 2 times negative 1 plus 8 times negative 3. So you see, if you are very comfortable with your operations, you know the calculator will do the multiplication first before the multiply, you don't have to put a lot of bracket. Understand how? to make it and just key the whole thing into your calculator you will be able to get your answer in unit square so you key this into your calculator you will get 36 then times half and you will get 18 units square okay so this would be a typical coordinate geometry kind of question